what's up guys, it is me again here back with another Fortnite Battle Royale video, it has been a while since we've done one of these types of videos, but I figured we got a pretty big season that's happening right now, and what better way than talking about all the updates that are happening, because this season, if you guys don't know already, is going to be, well it is chapter 2, but it is a remix of the map, so it's still the same island, still the same locations, but with a little bit of changes. Um, most the main ones, um, you can see one of them right here. Um, Snoop Dogg has taken over the agency. That is what's in the very middle of the island. Um, you can see that in the um, game right now if you go log on. But over time, there's going to be other people at the island, and there's going to be other updates. So I wanted to go on ahead and discuss all the updates. I believe I did this another time around last year when the OG map came out. I was talking about all the updates coming out. Um, I don't normally do this with most of the seasons, most of the time I just play the game and then whenever there's a new patch I end up playing it live, which this is going to be the same case, but with these types of seasons that are only like a month long, updates happen very quick and sometimes people can miss them, so I wanted to go ahead and cover um, all of them that was happening during this month, um, so yeah. Obviously the season started on November 2nd, it has been out for the last two days. Um, Lots of people have been playing it. I don't know if it has as many players as what OG had um, for the or OG map, but for Chapter 2 OG, there's been quite a bit of people as well. So, Plus, we've had a new reload map, so they kind of have a double thing there. But for people that don't know, get things wrapped off, or started off, you can actually get a gold pickaxe for free right now gold scythe very easy to get all you have to do is get 140k xp i know that sounds like a lot it really isn't that's like i think like 70,000 xp is like one level right something like that so it's literally just like a couple levels and you can get this thing for free um you got to get it until november 11th uh, right now it's november 4th monday so that will be on let's see next monday yeah my month's my math's good i got that this is currently what the map looks like right now um, as you can see, we got a lot of different locations. Really, it just looks like how it did for Chapter 2, Season 2. Only thing is, the shark is not here in the grotto. But, like I said, there is they are going to return very soon. And that is what I'm going to show. But, right now, obviously, Week 1, that is what is happening right now. It's technically Week 0, but it's, yeah, we can just consider it the same thing. Um, right now... Obviously, the main thing that changed was where the agency is. We have Snoop Dogg there, and the Dog Pound, right? Um, it is the new headquarters. It's got those colors with Snoop Dogg with a dog on top, and then you got like, the gold trees. You got this nice-looking mansion here, um, which, of course, has the dog fodder, the Snoop Dogg himself, um, as a boss, and he has the Mythic Drum Gun, which, if you guys remember in the old Chapter 2 map, this was actually Midas that had this, so it's kind of cool that we uh, have him that has that now. He also has a boogie bomb here, as you can see, that you can throw. Um, it's available, I believe, for the whole season, so get it while you can. It's new. Um, he will do the drop it like it's hot emote, as you can see there, they're doing it. Um, of course, he also has the vault card, which... Um, if you go inside of the agency, there will be a vault underneath, and you can um, open up and get some loot there. There's also these Cadillacs that is supposed to be Snoop Dogg's car. Um, obviously, um, vehicles play a big part in Chapter 2. That's when they came out, but we have a new type of car specifically because of Snoop Dogg. So, I mean, I'm guessing this was Snoop Dogg's car. I don't know. Um, but that is in the game. For this season only, I believe. Um, but in the shop, I believe you can get a cert like your own Cadillac if you want. If you want to have it permanently, so yeah. And like I said, there is some other bosses. If you notice, there was um, the rig and the yacht. That is where these two are at. We have Meowthus here, which is a combination of Midas and Meowsels. Um, but he is at the yacht, and he has the Piao Piao rifle, which of course is Meowsel's Piao Piao rifle. Um, you got to take him out. He will also have the key card. Um, the Peel Power Rifle was in the game in Chapter 2, so it makes sense. Only, obviously, it was just me. Also, there's no Midas combined, because like I said, Midas was at the agency. But they combined these two characters, which is pretty cool. He is also the Tier 50 um, Battle Pass skin, so 
Um, definitely not too much grinding to get that pass done. Like I'm already like halfway there and it's been like two days. So, but yeah, definitely, um, get grind your way. Make sure you get this guy before, uh, you know, cause but trust me, this season will end very quickly. We also have, of course, Tiantina. This is Dynamo Tiantina, and she is at the rig, which is kind of the same with how we had before, where it was just Tiantina, and she does have her Kaboombo as well um, with the key card. So, you go there. But this is when things start to change, and that will be on November 7th. So that is just three days from now. That will be on Thursday, because that is when most of the updates are going to happen. That will be week two, and this is when the Grotto will finally return. But with a twist, because it is going to have Mom's Spaghetti Restaurant. Now, if you guys don't know what this is a reference to, this is, of course, a reference to this guy right here, Eminem, with his own restaurant, which I believe is even a real place in their life, which is pretty cool. Um, but he has a brand new skin. I know Eminem has been in the game. He actually appeared in the OG map last year, and he had like a little concert at the end. We played a couple songs, but he is making a comeback for this. Um, he's gonna have his, uh, looks like that is his logo, but he's gonna have this restaurant here, which is pretty cool in the grotto, so I'm definitely excited to check this out. The grotto is a favorite to lots of people I know on chapter two, like when they play chapter two, including me. Um, but he will actually end up having the minigun, um, that Brutus had there, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And what's the twist about this minigun is that the lyrics from Rap God actually play while you shoot it so that's pretty creative um i'm definitely gonna have to check that out um but yeah november 7th i will be live for that i will be live before then i might need to be live tonight who knows we'll be playing some like reload or something so stay tuned for that but that is what's going to be happening and it does say that the rat boy reloaded outfit which is imminent right here is going to be hitting the shop around that time so i'm guessing around in just a few days so uh, I'm guessing the other M&M &M skins might appear as well, so that would be pretty cool. We have like four different M&M &M outfits now. Pretty awesome. Now this is the week that, um, the next one, one that's pretty controversial, really the one that nobody really wanted to see. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not that excited for it either. I am excited, however, that the fact that we will be getting the shark. The shark is a pretty crazy location. Um, I mean, you can see it right here. I just, I, I always love this place. Of course, this at the time, it was where Sky was, where she had a mythic scar and the mythic grappler, which I always thought was a cool combo. And obviously, the key card she had with the vault there. But now it has been taken over by Ice Spice. You have this massive, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this massive Ice Spice inflatable here. I don't really know much about Ice Spice. I've just, you know. I've known about it for a couple years, and I'm not really a big fan. I don't even know like any of her music. I know she played at that concert, of course, on we watched on Saturday. If you haven't watched that on my stream, go check it out. Um, I believe, does it say... It's supposed to be called Ice Isil, is what the location is called, right? But speaking of which, I guess this is called Spaghetti Grotto, just to let you know. I don't know if I said that. But I guess it's supposed to be like a shopping mall. So... That's interesting. An abandoned shopping mall. That's, huh. Okay. But it does look like she's going to have a Ice Spice Grappler and Ice Spice Rifle. So I'm guessing that will be the Scar as the rifle. And then the Grappler, of course. So that will be pretty much the same. Her outfit, though, will be probably out around week three. So around the 14th, around that time. For people that want that. And then, last but not least, this is the one that really surprised us, including me, at the very end, because they had to sneak that in at the very last second of the trailer, where we showed the back of his head. Juice World is finally coming to the game. My goodness, I cannot believe it's actually happening. It took a long time. I know they've been talking about it forever. It was one of the most anticipated skins that people have been wanting forever as an icon, and he's finally coming. He will be ending off the season appearing um we will be getting not just one juice world skin but two which listen to this because if you guys gotta um if you guys want this this will actually be a free outfit um because at the end of the season we are going to be getting of course a finale live event like how we get at the beginning and you'll be able to unlock this outfit known as the slayer juice world outfit we don't even know what this looks like yet but this is a cell shaded outfit i guess and if you log on between 1 a.m. Eastern on November 30th and 1 a.m. Eastern on December 1st, you will get it, which is like the last day of the season. So, 
And then the event itself is at 2 p.m. Eastern. And supposedly this could actually be a Juice World concert. That would be quite the way to end the season, if so. Um, I, don't, I can't really see anybody complaining there. I mean, obviously, you know, I know he passed away, so it's not going to be real. They're just going to be playing his songs. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty well worth it. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to it and watching it, streaming it live. Um, so stay tuned for that on November 30th on around 2 p.m. Eastern at the end of the month. He will also have a landmark. It's not going to be a location. We're not really sure where it's going to be, but that is one thing I cannot tell you guys, but you guys know when I show it, because I will definitely be landing there on stream when it happens. Um, like I said, the Cadillacs are in the game. Um, this is like Snoop Dogg's Cadillac, the 1966, which is currently in the shop. It's supposed to be in the shop all season long, so you can get that. You can also get them in the game, though, like I said, at the, um, the Dog Pound. There's lots of different weapons. I'm sure most people have seen them now. This is stuff that, like, we probably already know. Um, you guys know, since it's been out for the last couple days. I don't think... It says that some will be vaulted for after each week which is what they did in um, the og season after every week because we had weekly updates like i just showed you and there also is going to be different changes of guns but we have quite a bit of different guns right now most of them are just a classic chapter 2 loop pool um but yeah we got the dual pistols the tactic shotgun the pump shotgun rapid fire smg which i don't remember actually seeing the rapid fire smg i don't know if that's happening coming out later the suppressed smg Again, I don't remember seeing that. Suppressed AR, I know, I've seen that. Heavy sniper, the semi-sniper. Hunting rifle, I can't... I don't remember if hunting rifle's back in the game now, because I would have ended up taking one of those. I know heavy sniper is, and I'm pretty sure... I know this one is. I don't know. The rocket launcher's there. Grenade launcher, I don't believe it's here yet. Remote explosives, grenades, clingers are all there right now. Stink bomb. Supposed, I guess the Mythic Goldfish is in the game right now, which is kind of cool. Um, which, of course, is like a one in a million chance, so good luck getting it. And then the Bandit Bazooka, and then, of course, the Snoop Dogg Boogie Bomb. So, yeah, these are at least the two that we have not seen yet. Um, that will eventually come. We also have something that is going to be coming to the game in about a week or so. That is a new cosmetic in the game. We are having Kicks. Um, it's a cosmetic that is actually part of the Remix Pass, even though they're not shown on the Remix Pass right now. But they will on November 12th, which is pretty interesting. That will be on um, Monday as well, I believe. Next Monday, as of recording this. It says, The initial lineup of Kicks will feature Nike and Jordan brands alongside Fortnite Originals. And they will be compatible with over 500 Fortnite outfits, which is pretty crazy. Obviously not all, there's way more than 500 outfits, so it's kind of interesting. That, I wonder what those exclusive 500 are. Um, it will say that, I'm guessing though, it says that they're going to have more than, because it does say more than 95% will be compatible by next year's spring. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing they're just going to be shoes that we're going to be able to wear in the game, like customizable ones, which I, I don't really know why you would need that in Fortnite. Um, but it's definitely a t creative type thing, so there we go. Um, you can score your first pair of Jordans right, um, right around then. So there's also, um, that's going to be the first pair, like the shark, because obviously there's going to be different pairs. That is interesting. Of course, though, the Remix Pass, we already showed all of that. Um, it costs 950 V-Bucks, but it's 50 tiers. Um, I say it's pretty worth it. So, I don't believe you can get Dynamo T and Tina yet. That will be available later on, in like a couple weeks. And like I said, there's also the Desert Map, which I checked out in my last stream. Go check out at the end of that. Um, it is an all-new original mess desert map i believe the maps will be rotating um there's also a solo mode for reload which i have not yet played yet i need to probably do which is what i might end up doing for my next stream um but we do have some familiar locations like paradise palms um sunburnt shafts which is basically like shifty shafts about the desert and then there's also lizard links which supposedly there might be lizards i don't know i don't see anything there i don't remember 
I don't know if we ever ended up landing. I think I we did end up landing here on stream. I didn't see any lizards. So, yeah. For people that were looking for those, apologize. No lizards yet. Um, but The reload solo, I did actually predict this. If you remember, I was saying this before on my stream. I guess you are supposed to have free lives during reload solo before you get eliminated. Um, this is just a reload loot pool. We have some locker improvements, which you can see with different save loadouts. There's 200 presets now, which is pretty insane. Lots of presets. That should be permanent. And yeah, I believe that is just about everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any other questions about what's happening this season, um, let me know. I will be streaming it all day live in the future. So, stay tuned for that. Um, I will be live on Twitch on XX and BXX. Go follow if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.